Queen Elizabeth's husband, Prince Philip, is just a few months shy of 100 years old and has faced a handful of health issues as he has gotten older. For instance, along with being treated for a blocked coronary artery in December 2011, he also dealt with a bladder infection in June 2012, which forced him to miss the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations, according to The Guardian. However, those weren't the only health-related issues the royal has dealt with. In June 2013, he underwent exploratory surgery on his abdomen, and the following year, he began using Using hearing aids. There was also an incident in June 2016, which saw him managing a minor ailment and a four-day hospital stay in December 2019 to address a pre-existing condition. While Philip has seemingly handled each and every physical concern that has come up, those earlier issues were followed by another visit to the hospital in February 2021. As Prince Philip gets older, it's important for him to be mindful of his health and, when possible, to be proactive about taking care of himself. That's why His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh was a admitted to the King Edward VII Hospital in London on February 16, 2021, according to a statement from Buckingham Palace. The statement also revealed that Philip had been feeling unwell, which is why his doctor visited him at Windsor Castle before urging him to head to the hospital as a precautionary measure. A source also told The Guardian that the illness was not COVID-related and the stay in hospital was purely precautionary. In fact, the Daily Mail noted that it is understood the decision to admit him was taken with an abundance of caution, and the Royal is said to be in good spirits. As it was not an emergency admission, Philip reportedly went to the hospital in a car and walked into the hospital unaided, per The Guardian. Apparently, the Duke is expected to remain in hospital for a few days of observation and rest, while the Queen is staying back at Windsor Castle, where she's surely hoping that her husband will join her soon when he's feeling a little bit better. When news surfaced in February 2021 that Prince Philip had been hospitalized, many people may have wondered if the royal had contracted COVID-19, a diagnosis that his son Prince Charles also faced. That was understandably a concern because not only can the illness be serious for people of all ages, but according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the risk for severe illness with COVID-19 increases with age, with older adults at highest risk. However, when it comes to Prince Philip, a source told The Guardian that Prince Philip's illness had nothing to do with the virus. The royal also did something specific to protect himself from the sickness as both Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip got COVID-19 vaccines, something that made William very proud. According to a video that the Duke of Cambridge shared to Instagram on January 16, 2021. William also noted, It's really important that everyone gets their vaccine. According to USA Today, that's why the Prince and Duchess Kate of Cambridge have continued their efforts to cheer up frontline pandemic workers under mental health strain as a surge in COVID-19 cases intensifies in the United Kingdom. Fortunately for the royal family, Prince Philip's vaccination means he can focus on dealing with the other health issue that has cropped up. Prince Philip has lived a long life, so some might be wondering whether he has any health tips worth sharing. Camilla Parker Bowles, aka the Duchess of Cornwall, shed some light on this subject during a July 2020 interview on BBC Radio 5's The Emma Barnett Show. She said of her father-in-law, He is probably the fittest man of his age I know. He'll walk and walk and walk. He's like a mountain goat. He leaves everybody miles behind. As for the prince's eating habits, Queen Elizabeth's former chef Darren McGrady revealed to CNN that Prince Philip is sort of into healthy eating, but when it comes to organic food, he supposedly draws the line. McGrady shared a funny anecdote recalling how one Christmas, Prince Philip came into the royal kitchen in search of holiday treats from Harrods, a high-end department store, when he accidentally stumbled upon a bin of healthy treats sent for Prince Charles as he supposedly prefers organic food, the elder royal slammed the lid down and scoffed, it's bloody organic, as McGrady claimed. Food preferences aside, it sounds like Prince Philip prioritizes his health. Here's to hoping he makes a speedy recovery.